In the last video, I created an estimate for a tasting party. The customer has given me the go ahead, so now it's time to create a purchase order to let my vendors know that I need their business. There's two things that need to be in place to make the workflow go smoothly and quickly. The first one is that the ability to create purchase orders may need to be turned on in QuickBooks. So if you don't see this purchase orders icon here on the left, click edit from the top, choose preferences, click items and inventory on the left, change to the company preferences tab, and make sure inventory and purchase orders are active is selected. Now we need to tell QuickBooks that our items and services have a preferred vendor. This way, we can quickly know who we need to go to to create those purchase orders for. I'll go ahead and click items and services on the right. The first thing I need to change is my tasting party. While we host the parties, we do outsource them sometimes. So I've double clicked on it and I want to assign it to a subcontractor. I'm going to place a check mark next to this service is used in assemblies or is performed by a subcontractor or partner. Once I place a check mark here, I see some additional fields. In the description on purchase transaction fields, I can include a description. I can also include their cost to me. I do want to include an expense account. I can use any of the default expense accounts that's already there. However, I want to track how much money I'm sending this company. So I'm going to scroll to the top and select add new. It is an expense account. And because we're using account numbers, I'm going to put one in, though you certainly don't have to. And for the account name, I'm going to call it Metalworks Tasting Parties because that's the company that does it for us. I'll click the blue Save and Close button. And now I can choose a preferred vendor. In this case, it's Metalworks Presses. I'll click the OK button. And it's telling me that all future transactions will use this new account. Do I want to update existing transactions? I'll say yes. I'll click close on the spell checker. And now that I've updated that, there's one more product that I'm going to update. The customer also wanted olive oil delivered to their party. So I'm going to click on one of the olive oil bottles. I'll also place a check mark here that the item is used in assemblies or is purchased for a specific customer job. In Purchase Transactions, I can also put a description. In the Cost field, I can put their cost to me. In the Expense account, I can use Cost of Goods Sold. And the preferred vendor in this case is Drisden Botanicals. Now we'll click the blue OK button. It's asking me again if I want to update existing transactions. I'll say yes. And now we're done here. So we'll close the X to close out of the items and services list. We've now told QuickBooks that we do want to use purchase orders. We've set up some key items with those preferred vendors. So now let's go in and create some purchase orders. You may need to go back into estimates and see how much of each thing they wanted. I'll find the estimate. In this case, it was a 12 person party and she wanted four bottles of this olive oil. If I was using QuickBooks Premier, the process to create a purchase order is a little bit easier. Up at the top where it says create invoice, I would also have a button to create a purchase order and things could be populated for me. But this is QuickBooks Pro and we don't have that option and need to do it manually. So I'll close out of this estimate after looking at the quantity fields. And now I'll click purchase orders on the top left-hand side of the screen. In the vendor field, I'm going to click Metalworks. I can see the PO number and I can see the vendor at the top. And here's where I'm going to list all of my items. I'll click inside, find my item. Here's my tasting party. You can see the rate. I'll put in my quantity. And in the customer field, I'm going to put Kelly Reynolds. When it's all done, I have the same choice that I did with the estimate. I can print it, I can email it, I can email it later as a batch. I'll uncheck print later and check email later. In this case, I'm going to click save and new because I have one more to create. I'll put in a quick email address, which you'll get prompted for if you don't have one for that vendor. Let's create the next purchase order. In the vendor field, I'm going to choose Drisden Botanicals. 
I can see that the PO number has increased. However, the ship to is set to two trees olive oil, which is me. This is an olive oil delivery for a tasting party. I don't need it to be sent to me, as it's going to be heavy and it could break and it might as well be drop shipped to the person that's having the party. We can do that in QuickBooks. At the very top where it says drop ship to, I'm going to click Callie Reynolds. It's updated the ship to address to Callie's address. Now I can come in here, add my olive oil, and repeat the process. 